or two ago I did a video where we chronoed all these high velocity and hyper velocity 22 rounds through various length of barrels um, several pistols and a Ruger 1022 rifle uh, to see what kind of velocity we'd get out of them mainly wanting to see what they get out of the pistol but we brought a rifle com for comparison but in that video I had intended to bring my heritage barkeep here that's got a two two and a quarter inch barrel whatever it is I'll post it here and get the stats on it for sure but it's two something uh to see what kind of velocity we'd get out of a real short barrel um but i grabbed the wrong heritage on the way out not realizing that i didn't get my barkeep so i wanted to do this video here real quick since i had intended to bring this one and uh we'll test the velocity of all these out of this uh, barkeep with its two some inch barrel uh, I'll, I'll post the link in the description to that video i just mentioned there um i also wanted to state that you're going to have less velocity out of the same length barrel out of a, a revolver especially a, cheap, especially a cheaper one like this because of the cylinder gap because you lose some of your pressure out of the cylinder gap and if you go watch that other video you can see that quite clearly because the rough rider i did bring had a longer barrel than the tx22 that i brought which was semi-auto and we were getting lower velocity out of a longer barreled re revolver than i was out of the shorter shorter barrel uh, semi-auto pistol typically no one asks but I have been asked occasionally this is feet per second not meters per second I have both settings but go ahead and show them it's on feet per second it's on the left side huh. It started out with an error. I don't know if it's reading these leaves or what. I don't know why it started saying error. It seems like it's working though. It's reading my hands, so. All right, we'll start off these 22 uh, mini mags here. These happen to be the Seg Mini one, but your standard uh, solid mini mag is 40 grain at 1235 uh, so these just happen to segment but they're the same weight and same velocity uh, the other video I did three shots of each that's what I'm gonna do here too I know typically people are used to five shots averaging and whatnot but uh, I'm just gonna run three here just uh, also I'm probably gonna call out the numbers because even though I could see the numbers real well in the last video, uh, somebody left comments saying that they couldn't make out the numbers. So I'll call them out as, as they come up in case you guys can't see them. All right. Got to call them out. <laughs> 983 or 84 for the first one. That one says 1,000. Nine sixteen. Now that's the other problem with calling them out. I forgot. Every time the gun goes bang, my my microphone mutes. So there's either going to be a pause between, or I'll just post it up on the screen. So now do the Aguila Interceptor, forty grain. Whether you get the uh, flat nose like this one or the hollow plank, they're forty grain regardless. Advertised. 1475 of where the hell is that they're 1475 that must be an older package it doesn't have it on there Ten forty-eight. Ten forty-five. 1040 CCI Velocitor, advertised 1435. 1,000 even. 
1019 Remington Viper our experience on the last video was these come in way under uh, the velocity for the these Remingtons even out of the rifle but for the fact that we ran them in the other video I'm going to run them in this one too these are advertised 1410 I don't know if you guys can see that, but 1410. Yeah, I must be picking up the shadow occasionally. It says error again, even though the last shot was not an error. It actually gave us a read for the last shot, but now it's sitting there saying error. It must be reading those leaves blowing in the wind above it. Nine forty four. Nine fifty seven. 949 Okay, then the yellow jackets 33 grain hollow point advertised 1500 Somewhere on there 1500 1054 1002 1043 Now we'll run CCI Stinger, 32 grain, 1640. Error. <laughs> 20 minutes ago there wasn't any shade over here, but now there is so maybe it'll work better over here and the leaves are much higher All right, so let's try these stingers again eleven sixty one. Eleven twenty. You can see the silver cases there. They are the stingers. So now uh, the super maximums. They're advertised seventeen hundred feet per second with a thirty grain projectile. We got pretty close to that with my ten twenty two in in the other video. Eleven eighty one. 1166 1187 so I gotta say I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head from the previous video that I mentioned that's linked in the description um, but those don't seem much lower I don't think I think we were hovering 1,200 on a, a few of those last ones in the other video with the the shortest of barrels. Um, so it doesn't seem to suffer very much, if any at all, going to this two inch barrel over uh, the four and five inch barrels that we tested in the other video. So that's definitely not what I expected, but that's good news. So dropping down to this even shorter barrel it would seem that you're not really losing any more power with 22 LR than you are uh, with a longer barrel much longer pistol revolver whatever so again you guys have to watch the other video to compare but if my memory is correct they're pretty close on velocity so it doesn't seem like there's much loss going stepping down to this little two inch barrel so that about does it. Like I said, if you want to see the other video, link in the description, or you can just scroll through my 22 playlist on the channel and see all the 22 videos. Um, so yeah, like I said, that uh, it's pretty interesting results. I figured we'd come in much lower with the shorter barrel, but it does not seem so. So that's good. Cool. Anyways, check out the other video if you want to see it. 
I appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.